morning everyone welcome to this edition of dog training web series today i will be demonstrating the feature version control for sharepoint doc library well with the school feature you can track and manage information over time with versioning in sharepoint library as well as list and not just that view and recover previous versions from the items history even that is possible Sounds cool, right? What more? When enabled, new versions are added to an item's history after changes are saved. You can even view the number of versions stored and the visibility of the draft or like the, or like the minor versions can be modified for each library and list. So, let's get started. The first thing that I will demonstrate is how to enable and configure versioning in a SharePoint online uh, library. Okay, so what you need to do is go to the library that you want to enable versioning. And the next step is like click on settings, go to library settings. Okay, now as you can see, we'll have to click on the versioning settings. Once you do that, as you can see on the screen, there are a lot of options like uh, you, can, uh, you can create a version each time you edit a file in this document library. So for that, like you can create major versions uh, like one, two, three. Or you can also go for minor versions like 1.0, 1.1 as per your requirements. And uh, the next thing is uh, like, you can also keep uh, keep the following number of me, like, like there's an option, you can limit the number of versions that you want to retain. And yes, the maximum is 500, you can't go beyond that. Okay, so make sure uh, like you have checked the, uh, the particular choice that you want to, like I'm going for create major versions and uh, once and once you do that mm, click on ok right so the next thing that uh, i'll demonstrate is how to disable versioning in the same library right so it's the same thing you hit the version settings again and like all the steps are same, and then as you can uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, there is an option of no versioning, right? So if you want to disable versioning in your library, just click on that particular, just click on that button, no versioning. So that's how you disable versioning in your SharePoint library. So once you do that, click OK, and you're done. Next thing that I would like to show you guys is uh, how to view, restore, or delete an earlier version in your library. So, how do we do that? So, in order to do this, you'll have to go back to the library, like the one where you want, where you, the one where you want to view the history. So, you need to go back to the library. Okay. So, once you do that, you can see three dots, right? Like just next to the item that you want to view the history. So, click on the three dots. So, and you have an option of version history, click on version history. Yeah, so now we have the version history dialog box, okay? So, uh, all you got to do is hover the mouse over the date link, see? Yeah, and now you have a, uh, like you can click on the uh, down arrow to show you the menu. So, once you do that, you can see three options. It is like you can view, uh, you can view the current document. Uh, you can restore it or you can even delete it. So these are the three options available. And once you're done, just click, uh, just click on the X. Just click on X in the upper right corner. Yeah, so that's how, so you're done. So that is it for today's video. Uh, I hope that that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, we'll be coming up with more and more videos. Stay tuned. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Doc365 Incorporated. Thank you. Have a nice day.